We are walking down King Street here in Mascot, Sydney to the Lakes Golf Club for the first day of the Australian Open. Looking forward to getting in through the gates which are just about 100 meters up that way and watching some of the golf. I'm with my mum and my dad today. It's only six o'clock but the sun is out. Going to watch some of the young Australians in particular, Min Woo Lee, Min Ji Lee. They're teeing off in about an hour's time so hoping to catch them warming up on the chipping green, the putting green and the driving range. So this is the entrance. There's a bit of a queue this morning. Gates actually open as we discovered from the tendons at 6.30 so that's another 15 minutes time. Okay Dan, who are you going to put your money on to win? Myself. Proper answer. Okay, I think uh, based on form, mean Woolley for sure. Finally moving. It's now slightly before 6.30 so they're opening up the gates just ahead of time. So the entrance is underneath a highway which cuts through the golf course and we come through the semi-long driveway leading up to the clubhouse. As you can see coming up here it's really bright and sunny. Gonna make our first port of call I think to the driving range. A lot of activity already. Uh, I think there's a lot of volunteers who came a bit earlier still arriving. Competitors obviously we just saw the uh, <coughs> competitor Michael Block who's the PGA professional quite famous from social media. Yeah we're gonna cut through. Right here is the 18th hole, the par 3. This is the finishing hole. Let me go up ahead, head straight to the driving range. Mom, who do you think is gonna win for men? Min Wu For ladies Min Ji <laughs> It's an easy answer At this time in the morning the sun is directly in our face which means that players are being challenged a little bit by the sun shining there Hopefully we can see Min Wu Lee which I think I can straight ahead in white This is Min Wu Lee on the driving range warming up You can see the sun is in his face Sun is directly in our face, very difficult to see the ball. Right now there's a lot of players, a lot of people, spectators crowding the range. Maybe with the now long irons. Oh, low stinger shots. And on the right of the range you can see all the caddy bibs with the names on the bibs. You've got the range balls. Oh, my mom is uh, <laughs> recognized a fellow member at the club I think. All very exciting. Building up. Here we've got uh, Michael Block. And up ahead on the putting green we've got uh, Minji Lee, the sister of Minwoo Lee who we've just seen on the driving range. Got the putting instrument, pat practice aid on the ground. Just practicing him three footers. That's the beautiful clubhouse here at the lakes. Over on the chipping green, you've got Cameron Smith and Mark Lishman, two fellow Aussies. One, a former Open champion, Cameron Smith at St Andrews back in 2022. Just up here, they're just practicing some short chips. Mark Lishman is just on the right there. He plays for the Live Golf Tour, or well, actually both of them do. Uh, part of the same team, Ripper GC. Two fellow Aussies, good to see them back. And for members, there's a marquee available for use. We can come up and get a cappuccino and a coffee. Apparently, uh, in order to access the marquee, you need to get orange bands from the reception. So we'll make our way there. This is our clubhouse. At the front, you've got a wide open balcony. Down below my right, it's usually the pro shop, but it's being converted into a dining area, presumably for pros to eat. And uh, through the sliding doors is the entrance to the changing rooms, but that's all reserved for competitors today. We're just making our way down the driveway, past the ninth green on my left, to get these orange bands that we need to where in order to access the outdoor marquee. We're also allowed to go into the clubhouse later today, so hopefully I can take a few videos and show you what our clubhouse looks like. It's, it's very nice, I would say, because it's newly renovated. Inside there's like a wine bridge, nice indoor dining area, good cafe, beers on tap, all good stuff. Let's get these orange bands. This is the uh, driveway leading up to our clubhouse. This clubhouse was built in 2010, and it's been since renovated as well. Have a lovely day, enjoy the golf and hospitality. This is our uh, dining area on the left. Through here is our corridor leading to another dining area or the bar area. Toilets on the right. 
and through there is the area reserved for lunch so I don't think we can access that today but there's the outdoor area through these sliding doors oh nice good turnout today yeah and here is our marquee serving water sandwiches wraps chocolate bars drinks and coffees so we're strategically standing in the middle of the 11th hole which is a par 5 beautiful hole carving around the water here or the lake hence the name of the lakes and the green is in the distance it's a dog leg right most professional players would go for this in two obviously i'm not when i play this hole it's definitely a par 5 for me so we're standing where we think the drive from the tee which is up in the sun on our right back there where it will land so we're hoping to see the approach shots from the marquee group of Minwoo Lee and Cameron Smith it's actually Minwoo Lee has tucked his shot and so he's kind of in this area here sandy area but he's got a clear shot to the fairway not ideal but he's having to move all the people out of the way nice. and here Cam Smith was playing his second shot it was a solid strike Climbed onto the green but fell back into the water. So Minwoo is now playing his third shot, approach shot to the 11th green. It's probably about 130 meters. Nice high bit left of the flag, very left. So as you can see, Cameron Smith is now dropping the ball. His approach shot landed in the water, landed on the bank and trickled back. So he's placing his ball now after doing a couple of drops. Minwoo Lee is there at the top. He's going to do a flop shot. That was not very good. It went in the bunker. That's the difference between amateurs and professionals. What do you think of the bunk shot? That very good. Is that what you do normally? Better. <laughs> now at the par for 12th hole, the tee box. Min Lee is about to tee off. Now Cam Smith. Oh. Oh, straight up the center. And now at the short par for 13th hole, it's 288 meters downhill, playing a slightly dog leg right. Players should be able to go for it in one go, one shot. So the Japanese player Hoshino not going for it. I mean, it's also not going for it. Now the unique thing about this championship is that both men and women play in the same tournament. Well, sorry, separate tournaments, but same day, same course. And so right now, right behind Minwoo and Cameron Smith's group is his sister, Minji Lee, and her group. So they're just finishing their putts on the 12th hole. Let's watch the tee shot on the 13th. They're using a slightly forward tee, but uh, they are playing the same course, same holes. So it'll be interesting to watch. But Minji's got a fairway wood out. Still talking. They've been on the tee for quite some time, just discussing the play. Hand has come off the club. Not sure where that is. Playing in the same group as Minji was Stephanie Kiriaku, also a Lakes member actually, so she has good local course knowledge. She was playing very well and went for the green in one. Just left, left of green. Now I think one of the good things about this course is that we can um, cut across very easily from hole to hole. Not all courses allow for that, so we've cut across from the 13th to the 14th, which is our signature hole, or one of the signature holes. It's a par 5, reachable by pros in two shots. So. Cameron Smith has dropped his ball because his first tee shot landed in the water. He's kind of taken a drop from the line of entry. Got two balls on the fairway, the Japanese player and Min Woo Lee. All of them are going to go for it. Japanese player first with an iron. Very nice. So powerful. Middle of the green. Very nice. Very nice high towering shot, just left of the flag. 20 feet for his eagle. Cam Smith is playing his third shot because he had to take a penalty drop. Very nice high towering shot, a bit left. Top tier, he's got a very difficult putt uh, from a top tier downhill. The ladies in the group behind were able to advance their tee shots further up the fairway than the men. 
This is Gabby Ruffles, an Australian player, going for the green in two. That was a well-struck fairway wood that unfortunately landed in the right-hand greenside bunker. Next up was Minji Lee further up the fairway. Because Minji was further up the fairway, probably about 160 to 170 meters out from the green, she was able to use a mid to long iron and hit the green. The group behind the ladies consists of Mark Leishman, Cameron Davis and Robert McIntyre. Robert McIntyre being the Scottish Ryder Cup player who was playing with the Ryder Cup Europe team in Italy earlier this year in Rome at Marco Simone Golf Club, which I attended. Cameron Davis is a leading Australian player and Mark Leishman obviously is one of the notable ones, part of the Live Golf Tour as well. Robert McIntyre and Cameron Davis are in the centre of the fairway, able to go for it in two shots. Mark Leishman, his just stayed on. It didn't creep into the lake. Cameron Davis was the first to play. At the end of the day's play, Cameron Davis actually equaled the course record of 9 under par 63, which was phenomenal. Shot. And while playing golf at the lakes, you will often encounter the locals, such as this little guy enjoying the Sydney sunshine. And behind the group of Mark Lishman and Cameron Davis and Bobby McIntyre, it's a group consisting of the former world number one, G.I. Shin from Korea. She's just crossing the bridge after an excellent second shot to the 14th green. She is about 10 feet, I think, for eagle. Excellent shot. Let's cross the 15th hole, which is a par 3. So, Thank you. Mark Leishman, Cam Davis and Bobby McIntyre have hit. All of them are on the green and they'll be punting for their birdies. We'll make our way across the 15th to the 16th and potentially onwards to the 17th hole. Now the 17th hole is a reachable par 5 for most, if not all, of the pros. It's a shortish one for them. Um, I'm just uh, on the other side of what is a kind of dub double water carry hole. Um, like I said, once they the pros hit to a kind of collection area, they've got another water carry to a dog le left green. This is for them a birdie hole. So I've caught up to... Uh, the group of Min Willie and Cameron Smith, and we'll see their uh, pots and chips. Good job, Cameron. And before we take a halfway break, we're going to watch one final short game clinic by the pros. This is the group of Robert McIntyre, Cameron Davis, and Mark Leishman. This is Bobby McIntyre. So let's watch him how he approaches this short chip to the green for his third shot. One of the things that I noticed that the pros do more than amateurs is that they walk up to the hole, make sure they know their exact landing spot, how the ball is going to trickle down to the hole, and they just don't, don't simply hit. So let's have a look at how Bobby McIntyre does it. Nice shot. Kind of slid, slid by the hole, carried a bit more than I guess I think he expected, but he does have a good part for birdie. So we're at the par 3 18th hole, which is the finishing hole here at the Lakes Golf Club. It's unique in the sense that it is a par 3, as opposed to the usual traditional you know, par 4s or par 5s. The group of Cameron Davis, Bobby McIntyre and Mark Leishman are just waiting for the ladies to clear up ahead. This is for them, is playing, let's have a look at the distance. 190 meters so I think for them it will be a 7 iron or a 6 iron or maybe an even an 8 iron let's see if we can get a good view of their tee shots and, uh, BMW is the official vehicle of the Australian Open as you can see a competitor has just arrived we're just gonna go into the clubhouse for some refreshments after a quick alcohol-free beer in the clubhouse, we're back out on the 18th green. This is the group of Michael Block, the social media sensation, also a pretty great professional golfer and a very good golfer, uh, playing the final hole on the back nine. He's uh, hit a really good shot to the center of the green. The hole is cut left front, uh, so he's got about maybe 30 feet for his birdie putt downhill, right to left. Just short, it's probably got about two feet left for his par. That should be an easy tap in.
just at the practice putting green. I'm watching a drill done by a professional golfer. Uh, this is Na Yeon Yum from South Korea. She's got an interesting drill where she's got the tee pegs, you know, at varying distances from the hole. This is, she's about to hit her third ball, which is the furthest from the hole. I guess it's to get her speed uh, dialed in. She's got a cross-handed grip back and through and that's a perfect roll look at that that's amazing other competitors warming up we've got another lady I'm not sure what's her name but uh, she's just doing some parts from about I would say 10 12 feet left to right downhill Oh, that's a nice one. Goes to show how important warm-ups really are for anyone, amateurs, professionals. This is the ninth hole. It's playing 165 meters. It's a par three. Usually my shots here are nine irons or even eight irons from about 130, 135 meters. Uh, tee boxes for members are usually much forward, 30 meters forward than what the pros are playing today. Just going to go cross under the underpass to the front line of this golf course here at the lakes and check out hopefully one or two more shots of the marquee groups consisting of you know Min Woo Lee, Cameron Smith before calling it a day and heading back to do my day job <laughs> essentially. It's been a lovely morning. Uh, the As you can tell by the lighting the clouds have come. Not sure if it's going to rain this afternoon but it's definitely much darker than it was this morning. It was very bright out. Temperature has come down significantly but I think for the pros it's actually ideal conditions. It's nice and cool, not too hot, not too muggy either. So yeah, I, I think I expect low scoring because there's no wind yet. Got a professional golfer here at the 8th hole just kind of short-sighted himself by the green. Let's see how he does. This is, surname is Carter. Oh, good shot. Oh, well good shot. Good shot. Yeah. We've got a ball that's come right next to one of the tents here, the par bar. The ball of the professional golfer is there, so I think he's going to have to get a drop. Golfer's name is surname is Pierce, so the other competitor has come over just to give his opinion. It's a movable structure, so it should get free relief, <coughs> but we need to call an official just to make sure. After a quick ruling, the golfer was able to drop his ball two club lengths away. Pretty good flop shot to the green. I think he has a relatively short putt to probably save his par. Quite impressive to see. So you don't get flustered, you wait to make sure that the rules are you know in check, get the official to come over, just take your time. Obviously don't take too much time, but keep your rhythm, keep your pace, do your shot, go through your routine, don't get flustered. That's the most important lesson from that. All right, as we can see, that's Min Woo Lee on the right in white and Cameron Smith just put his bag down, the caddy put his bag down, sorry. Looks like Min Woo Lee's got the furthest drive, probably in the gully in the distance there. I think all players should be able to go and reach the green in two. Well, Min Woo Lee's significantly further than all the other players. What a good drive. Yep. It should be really easy for him to reach from there. It'll be the Japanese player Hoshino to hit first. He's got a, probably a three wood out. Sounded good, I lost sight of that should be oh greenside bunker left greenside bunker not a bad place to miss cam smith is up next sounded good as well pretty solid oh nope it's going right last to play is minwoo oh kind of blocked by cameron let's go up to see where cam's uh <laughs> chip shot is going to be onto the green. I think it's short side himself so it should be somewhere in the right gallery. So this is Cameron Smith. He's just on the right of the green. He's got a short chip on for his third shot to the par 5 eighth. I've checked up a little bit early, earlier than one would expect but still a really nice clean chip. And after 17 holes, Min Woo Lee is 5 under par, Cameron Smith is 1 under par, and Hoshino is 3 under par. And Min Woo Lee's got a putt for his eagle. He's 2 on, ball is centre of the green. Fantastic.
That was a lip out. Oh, it happens to even the best. And walking from the 8th hole to the 9th hole, Minwoo's final hole of the day, it was certainly exciting to see the crowds build up around him. He certainly does have that X factor, that aura about him, looking good heading into the rest of the Open Championship. So now back in the clubhouse, watching the uh, final hole for Minwoo, Cameron Smith and Hoshino. Uh, they're on the ninth hole, which is their final hole of the day. They start on the back nine, finishing on the front nine. Looks to be all three balls on green. Just going to enjoy the rest of the day, go back home, get back to work.